Olama is a great tool that allows you to run large language models such as Llama 2 and Mistral locally. Another awesome generative AI tool is Pandas AI. This tool helps you explore, clean and analyze your data. Today, we'll cover how to use Pandas AI with Olama for data analysis. To show this, we'll build an app with Streamlit. Here is the app we'll create. First, we'll load the data. After that, we'll chat with this data. To do this, we'll enter a prompt and then the app will return a response. This is cool, right? Let's take a look at the topics we'll handle. First, we'll create a virtual environment and then install the tools we'll use. Next, we'll initialize the app with Streamlit. After that, we'll load the dataset. Lastly, we'll chat with the dataset using Pandas AI. Nice! We've seen the topics we'll cover. Let's go ahead and start with the setup. To write our code, we're gonna use the VS Code Editor. Now, let's create a virtual environment. To do this, we're gonna use Conda. Let's write Conda create n let's name Gen AI. I already created this. After that, we're gonna activate this environment. Conda activate Gen AI. Here you go. Our environment is ready to use. The next step we're gonna do is install the tools we'll use. To do this, let's create a requirements.txt file. We're gonna click on the new file and then name it requirements.txt. After that, let's write the libraries we'll use here. We're gonna type langchain, langchain community, pandas AI, olama, and stream it. Okay? For now, these tools are enough to build the app. We're gonna now install this. It's simple to do this with pip. Let's write pip install dash r requirements.txt. Here you go. Our tools are ready to use. To write our code, we're gonna create a Python file. Let me click on the new file and then give a name app.py Yeah, our file is ready. So far, we created a virtual environment and installed the tools. Let's go ahead and initialize the app with Streamlit. First, let's import this tool. Import Streamlit SST. Next, let's give the app a title. SD.title Let's write Data Analysis with pandas ai okay after that let's run this app let's go to the terminal and then write streamlit run app.py let me press enter yeah the app opens automatically in the browser this is simple right you can see the title here let's go ahead and create a widget to load the dataset to do this we can use the file uploader method let's say Uploader file equals sd dot. Let's call the file uploader method. Let's give a text. Upload a CSV file. Next, let's specify the file type. Type equals. Let's pass CSV. Okay. Nice. We created a widget. Let's test this widget. To do this. Let's go to the app and click rerun. There you go. Let's click over here and select our dataset. Yeah, the file is uploaded. Our app works very well. So far so good. Let's go ahead and initialize the model with Olama. Olama allows you to run open source LLMs such as Mistral locally. It's very easy to use Olama. All you need to do is download it from the website and then Install it on your computer. After installing, you can use Olama in the terminal. Let me open a new terminal. And then, let's start Olama. Olama serve. Yeah, Olama is ready to use. You can use many large models with Olama. You can see these models on the Olama website. Let me click models. Here, you can choose a model according to your project. To install a model, 
You can use your terminal. Let me show you. Let's want to install Mistral. Olama pull Mistral. There you go. As you can see, Mistral is loaded. You can look at the installed models with the list command. Olama list. There you go. Awesome. Olama is ready to go. What we're gonna do now is initialize the model with Olama. To do this, let's use the length chain. First, let's import the Olama class. Let's write from length chain community. Let's write LLMs import Olama. Next, let's instantiate a model object from this class. LLM equals Olama. Let's pass model. The model we'll use is Mixtral. There you go. Our model is ready. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first rows of the dataset. To do this, let's use the if statement. If uploader file is not none. After that, let's convert data into the pandas data frame. First, we're gonna import pandas. Import pandas as pd. Next, let's read the dataset. Let's say data equals pd dot read. CSV. Let's pass the upload of file variable. Now let's write the first rows. SD dot write data. Let's call the head method. Let's pass three. Now we're gonna test the app. Let's go to our app and then click rerun. There you go. The dataset will use the iris dataset. What we need to do now is convert the dataset into smart data frame. To do this. We're gonna use the smart data frame class. Let's import this class from pandas AI import smart data frame. Next, let's get an object from this class. DF equals smart data frame. Let's pass our data. Let's set the config parameter. Let's pass LLM. Let's give our LLM variable. Nice. Our smart data frame is ready. Next, to get the input from the user, let's create a text area. Let's say prompt. It's gonna be sd dot text area. Let's give enter your prompt. Okay. Nice. Our text area is ready. What we're gonna do now is create a button. For this, let's use the button method with the if statement. If sd button let's pass a text generate if the prompt is true let's display a message while running the code to do this let's use the spinner method using the with keyword with sd let's call the spinner method let's give generative response all we need to do is return the response sd dot write we're gonna invoke the chat method for a response df dot let's call the chat method let's pass prompt okay our block of code is ready lastly if the prompt is false let's display a warning message else sd dot let's call the warning method let's pass please enter a prompt let me change this word as generating. Awesome! Our app is ready. Now it's time to make inferences. Let me go to the app and then click rerun. There you go. Now all we need to do is write a prompt to chat with the dataset. Let's write how many rows this dataset. Let me click on the generate button. Yeah, the app is up and running. Voila! The number of rows was written. It's simple but cool, right? Let's ask another question. Calculate the average values for the sepal length and pedal length for iris species. Let me click generate. There you go. 
You can see the average values here. Let's explore missing values. Are there any missing values? Let me click on the generate button. There you go. Let's take a look at summary statistic of the data. Let's write tabulate summary statistics of data. Here you go. You can sum the statistic of the data. Let's go ahead and draw some plots. Let's say draw a bar plot of species. Let me click on the generate button. There you go. It's cool, right? Let's go ahead and draw a scatter plot. Draw a scatter plot of the sample land and pedal land. Let me click on the generate button. There you go. The scatter plot is ready. It's cool, right? This way you can draw any plot you want. Yeah, that's it. In this video, we covered how to use Pandas AI with Olama. To show this, we built an app step by step with Citrimlit. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. See you in the next video. Bye for now.